they just changed it today, and I'm number four for some reason. Okay, don't we, don't the up, we don't have the update. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. So, yeah, it was kind of weird. I like but, that after your fight that you weren't shy on, on naming some names. Darren Till was one of them. Paulo yeah. Costa got a lot of people saying, ooh. I was one of them. I went, ooh. Yeah. That sounds <laughs> exciting. Any name on the tip of your tongue as to who you'd like to share that off? Let's go, Boracinha. We're going to make a hell of a fight. Let's go, baby. He never said anything back, though. He never said anything back. He never even acknowledged my, my call out. It's, it's, it's whatever, man. I think he's not going to. I don't think he belongs to, to the top five, to be honest. But it's okay. I mean, like you said, I called out everybody. I was too excited, I guess. So, Blakovic and Adesanya, I think now they're actually scheduled. And uh, if, if Whitaker and, and Costa is on the work, which, by, not, by the way, I think Whitaker will, will smash uh, uh, Costa. And then. Um, and then Whitaker will be right there, and I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't feel. I feel like Whitaker doesn't want to fight at the time, so I definitely want to do it. And you, you can bet it will, it will be a hell of a fight. So after I be there until that, that should be the fight to make me and at the time. Uh, credit to the champ. I thought in the fifth round, you know, he, he showed heart and came back and definitely did well in the fifth, which is, you know, that championship mentality. But um, but it was a very close fight. And I thought that Max might have might have got the nod just from that one time I saw it as well. So, um, you know, credit to both of them, man, both tough guys. And uh, it was a championship level fight. And I think he's got another one with me yeah. uh, on the 16th. I, th I thought he got screwed in that. But yeah, again, yeah, screwed. It was a good fight. But I thought that Max, I, the first one I kind of thought was really close too. I wasn't convinced that he lost that on a on an, uh, a unanimous decision. But uh, the second one, I, I really thought Max should have got the nod. Um, and to see him coming off two losses is really strange. To see Holloway coming off two losses. Yeah, they say, uh, you know, he's, he's everyone's dangerous coming off two losses. Um, you know, but... I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I feel like I'm always stepping in there with a the mindset like I'm coming off mm -hmm. two losses too. I'm challenging myself to go in right. uh, with that same mentality. You know, I don't like to be that guy coming off two wins. I, I go in there hungry every time I step in there and, and um, I know how big this moment is for me in my career and, and I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm excited about the opportunity and I'm looking forward to it. Other than Tony, I see a lot of people talking about Tony. Obviously, Tony's had some amazing few last fights. He's come up short. The dude's an absolute animal. I don't care what you say. I don't think he's done. But other than Tony, who else in the division would you guys like to see me come back for? I'm sure there's some haters on here too that don't ever want to see me come back, but for the fans that are on here, what would you guys like? Khabib. <laughs> nah. I'd like to train with Khabib and feel that power if he is in fact retired and that wrestling. I just, certain guys you see that are so dominant, you're like, what? I wanna know. Damian Mai is another guy. He would absolutely smash me on the ground. But I'd like to grapple with him just to feel that level, to know what that's like. Raging? Me and Al. Philly and New York. We're supposed to fight at least twice. 
injuries and obviously Al stepped up, fought Habib. I didn't get a fight. That's a fight I would like to settle that business. I watched a couple of his fights and you know, like I, I take in the good, I take in the bad. I was like, hmm, he's really good here. Um, he's not so good here. Um, he's average here. I look at everything. And like the last fight, I had to throw that out. That's a fight I throw out with Jacare. Nobody gets knocked out front and back. Like Jacare fell asleep, you know, he took him down and, you know, relaxed, especially a guy like that. Imagine a guy with a BJJ as good as he is and to sag back like that instead of like BJJ is about putting Close. pressure on guys. Pressure. Past. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's like, that was just super weird. I thought it was out. a freak thing. Yeah, it was a freak thing for sure. Yeah, yeah. It was just like, guys just don't get knocked out front and back. It's like one of those things like Junior Dos Santos, Jacare is like, maybe, you know, maybe, you know, you guys taking enough, you know, maybe it's about time to retire. If, you, if you're not taking, if you're getting punched like that, and, you know, you're getting days right there. I mean, athletics don't last forever. And after athletics, you have your life and you want to have a healthy brain. So, like, if you, if you can't take shots like that, then... Yeah, it's, it's probably, you know, time to, you know, I don't know, coach, you know, yeah. open a gym, you know, run a gym. Yeah. But anyways, uh, so, yeah, I, I see myself just putting it on Hollins, you know. Um, I don't really see any one place that he's better than me. His cardio is not better than mine. His wrestling isn't better than mine. His striking isn't better than mine. Um, his BJJ isn't better than mine. So uh, he's a guy who he's been calling me out. He's been calling me out for the past yeah. three fights. And it's funny because I was going to fly him in to train with me for Izzy. And uh, I think after his fight, I was like, man, you look good out there. Good job. He's like, oh, man, it's such a blessing, such an honor to have a UFC guy um, talking to me. He was like, a week before I was fighting the LFA, he was like, man, I'm so awesome. And then he went from that to calling me out. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm all about it, man. So there's a little bit of, little bit of bad blood there. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's just good to see McGregor back, you know, because listen, he brings excitement every single time and he's a lot of fun to watch, you know, I mean, there's something about the way McGregor moves, you know, he's very, very explosive. He fight, he's always perfectly in balance, he strikes, he's he's very, very good, he's exciting, you know, I mean, always comes with something new, that win against Donald Cerrone came on there, blitzed him from the opening bell. I mean, that was smart to do, everybody knows Cerrone starts slow, but not many people capitalise on it as well as McGregor did there. So, you know, again, you know, a tremendous fight but I do think Poirier will do better in this one we'll save it for week of the fight before we actually give picks but but I don't see McGregor as that much of a favourite although if uh, if I was a betting man I would say he's definitely the favourite Dustin Poirier you know he's come up to 155 he's looked great since he came up there his chin certainly looks intact when he fought uh, who was it he fought just recently Dan Hooker when he fought Dan Hooker Jesus Christ them two just teed off on one another and Hooker's a big big 155er okay he hasn't got the kind of power that McGregor does but he's still got good solid power and uh, Poirier took a lot of them shots so uh, that's going to be a great fight I think it's going to be a lot better than when I say better I mean close of a fight than the first one. First one kind of went out there, smoked him, took him out a couple of minutes into the first round. No big deal. Made it look like a walk in the park. This fight's going to be a little different, I think. However, if McGregor can go out there and repeat that, then fair play to the guy. I'd like to see him in a title fight pretty, pretty soon because if he goes out there and smokes the former interim, interim champion like that, that easily, then he, he deserves it, to be quite frank. 
is whatever, man. I think he's not gonna. I don't think he belongs to, to the top five, to be honest. But it's okay. I mean, the human trash. With Whitaker and then Costa's on the work, which by that, by the way, I think Whitaker will will smash uh, uh, Costa. I disapprove, hundred percent. 